Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure to go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Okay, you guys, so before I get started, I wanna go ahead and apologize for last Sunday's stream being abruptly canceled. What happened is that I had been in the studio for a few hours, as most of my tea sippers know, I'm working on a song. I've been working on it for like the past few months now. And we had to put some finishing touches on the song and it ended up going a lot longer than I expected. The stream was supposed to start at six, I didn't get out the studio till about seven o'clock at night. So I really apologize for that. We will be doing a Sunday live stream this Sunday at 6 p.m. We're gonna be talking about the dark side of surrogacy. So if you're interested in the topic, make sure you guys join me. I will definitely be there and I have everything set up um, in advance to let you guys know. I would just suggest watching some YouTube videos concerning surrogacy and some of the disadvantages of it. And then come to the live stream on Sunday prepared to discuss everything, okay? So anyways, you guys, I wanna go ahead and talk about the whole black China, Tokyo Tony, and Jess Hilarious situation. Now this entire situation is a hot damn mess, but you know what? I'm here for it, bitch, okay? So anyways, what went down is that basically, as we all know, Black China is trying hard as hell to not go back to the pole, okay? Y'all remember this damn song? Back to the pole you go. Hey, back to the, back to the, back to the, back to the, back to the pole you go. What? Back to the, 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 So anyhow, Black China does not want to go back to the pole, okay? She's trying to save herself from going back to being a stripper, and so she decided to start selling White Nish's bleaching cream. So when this story went viral, of course, her mother, Tokyo Tony, that she's estranged from, does not deal with, had something to say about the situation. And Tokyo Tony was basically defending Black China's right to sell bleaching cream. I want you guys to go ahead and watch what Tokyo Tony had to say. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. First off, I noticed that this uh, kid named Black China has a skin whitening cream that she's selling. Now, I'm totally baffled and confused by the hate that she's getting for this. No, she's not my favorite person in the world whatsoever. However, I do know her. This isn't a defense. This is common sense, what I'm about to say. One, this is not the first skin whitening cream that has been sold. Two, she's Black China. She will sell a shit pie in a shit factory. This cream costs $250. Not everybody can buy it. Only those who fucking want it. Now, to bash a person that's already light-skinned for selling cream to make you light-skinned doesn't seem like a bad idea to me at all. However, what black person would you have used to sell such an expensive cream that anybody would even buy the shit? Definitely not nobody my complexion. Not anybody your dark complexion. Now, it, it's funny because you people never do your research since you like to talk so much shit about somebody. Let's use a little common sense. People get ass, titties, and teeth. What's the difference in getting blemishes and making your skin lighter than what it is? People have dark circles. I'm sorry. What they're using under their dark circles is cream to lighten the circles. To sell a cream at $250, period, is a bitch's whole check that's on welfare. So let's hope nobody that's on welfare or any type of governmental assistance is even talking shit. 
Because for one, you can't even afford it to get it. I cannot. Not one of you motherfuckers, and I'm talking celebrity hoes, that fuck with her, including her motherfucking nothing ass friends, displayed to her or disclaimed to her, your mother's looking for you. And to this day, I still don't know what the fuck the issue is, but guess what? I gave up when y'all saw that video. I got shit to do. And no matter what the fuck anybody talking about, that's still my motherfucking kid. And what the fuck? She just like a mother, stubborn ass bitch. That ain't having any going for her. And anybody come for her, I will still stab your ass in your motherfucking back, bitch. And lick the motherfucking knife for your front. Don't fuck with her. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what me and my kid go through. Fuck with her. You are not gonna wanna deal with me. I have nothing to lose. Everything I fuck with, I can put down in five motherfucking minutes. Don't you ever, ever fuck with her. You bitches came for her about some skin cream. All you bitches needed. Take a layer of that dirt off your fucking face. Maybe we might find out who the fuck you really are, bitch. She a light-skinned bitch. Why the fuck would she not sell some cream? She ain't doing no fucking bleaching, bitch. She was a baby. Coming out my pussy looking like a goddamn whole Italian motherfucker. I forgot who I fucked after that looking at this motherfucker. Don't fuck with her. Because let me tell you, if a bitch told you to sell chapstick at a lipstick oil company, what you call it, lip gloss, you'll be there doing it. Again, you bitches could never afford to buy $250 cream. That's why you mad first. Second, a bitch that need that cream gonna go for it. Why? Because a light-skinned person is selling it. Oh, when I go to the house, I'm gonna show you in my bathroom. I went and bought some from the CVS for $8, bitch. I got the receipt. All right, so you guys just saw the video of what Tokyo Tony had to say about Black China and her promoting the bleaching cream and all that stuff. So of course, just hilarious when she saw that she had something to say about this. Um, she's an Instagram comedian and she does, you know, Jess with the mess. So this is what Jess had to say about the situation. Go ahead and check this out. Tokyo Tony isn't here for the disrespect toward her daughter. Don't you ever, ever with her. She ain't doing no bleaching bitch. She was a baby coming out my you're still not saying dream. All right, so you guys just saw what Jess had to say. So, of course, once word got back to Tokyo Tony, honey, when I tell you Tokyo Tony was not here for the foolishness, she got in her damn feeling, and she basically drugged Jess Hilarious. I want y'all to go ahead and check out what Tokyo Tony, a.k.a. Teriyaki Tina, had to say about what Jess had to say about her. Go ahead and check this out. Don't talk about me no more, Jess. Keep my daughter's name out your mouth, ho. It's too much shit in the world to do, bitch. You can talk about sex trafficking, but you'll never do that, you weak ass bitch. You'll never do a food drive, you fucking cum slurping ass fuck boy man looking motherfucker, you bitch. You'll never do that though, will you, bitch? Are you pulling the blankets together for the motherfuckers in your own community, Jess? Nah, bitch. You too busy pissing and shitting on your own motherfucking self and your family, you dumb motherfucker. Yeah, because you're not funny, bitch. You're not funny. I'm just the hilarious and I'm not fucking funny. Suck a dick, bitch. Facts. Hostily comment. And uh, some hot flaming potato chip shit like that. Nah, you 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 got to you had to go on with bitches. You got how many thousands of followers, ho? And you wanted them to see your bitch ass do that shit? For real, nigga? You a clown, bitch. You a whole motherfucking clown, bitch. Do you realize that you on a stage because you a clown, bitch? Get it. These niggas is clowns. You a clown, Jess. You a clown, bitch. Yes. Looking at you, you can't take you serious, bitch. Not your face or nothing. Nothing about you is right, bitch. You ugly. Fat. And you look just like your great, 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 great grandmother in her current condition right now, bitch. Don't y'all favor? 
That's for you. No respect. Boy, I'm so bad with a girl. I would hawk some shit up for you right now, bitch. If he was, if he was right here. And then we'll deal with whatever we got to deal with from that motherfucker point on. I don't like you, bitch. I don't like you, Jess. You should have shut your motherfucking mouth. I had problems with your bitch ass talking about me years ago. See? Just type my name in with your bitch ass name, bitch. It pop up. I don't know you, bitch. My phone number been on social media for years, you nothing ass bitch. You a punk ass bitch. You never went in my DM, bitch. You never did shit to say, well, look. <clears throat> I am just the motherfucking clown of America, you know what I mean? And I do freak bitches' pages and go to bitches' haters' pages and play with the blogs because I think I'm a real blogger and funny, but you're not. Bitch, you're a fucking old clown, nigga. For real. you a clown, bitch. you always been a clown, bitch. And you had to grow up and still be a clown, bitch. It's the only way you was going to get your money, bitch, is to talk about motherfuckers, bitch. It's the only way, bitch. So what the fuck you need to do is be breaking me my motherfucking bread, bitch. Because if you talk about me on your page, bitch, I'm going to slide through that motherfucker like you ain't going to ever, bitch, boy. I'm not the bitch for you, shawty. I'm telling you. I let you bitches, a lot of you bitches get away with a lot of shit. Then when I slide through y'all bitch ass DM, next thing you know, my page getting shut down. I'm like, how that happen? Oh, I know how. Because what the fuck I said. But you bring that arsenal, bitch. But then when the shit come back your way, and I have no respect or no regard to you or your life or your family or none of that shit, I'm wrong. Honey. So, of course, once that went viral, the shade room posted it and Jess Hilary, she stepped into the shade room and she basically said, okay, but you still can't see Dream. And then she went onto her Instagram page and drugged Tokyo Tony some more. Black China's father is not here for Jess Hilarious jokes. <gasps> oh, wow. Bitch, first of all, wake up. Bitch, these zombies are getting out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo, if you don't wash your fucking face, brush your fucking teeth, and take them lashes off, you still got them on from when China first gave birth the dream. Goddamn. <laughs> Bitch, my mother called me like, what is it? <laughs> I said, I don't know, shit. Why am I offended, though? I'm not offended. You called your daughter the same exact shit you called me in the video, plus worse. Fuck you and your daughter, plus all this shit that you're doing. It's not going to make her fuck with you. It's not. It's, you're not making shit no better, brother. Like, you're really not. Like, you think it's you black, trying to fall, and niggas give a fuck? We don't care. You need to get right with the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys just saw their back and forth. So just when everybody thought that it was going to end at that, all of a sudden, Black China decided to be super petty, okay? And she decided to follow Jess Hilarious' ex-boyfriend, Chris. So she followed him, and of course, you know, the blog saw this and they posted it. And then Jess Hilarious stepped into the shade room again, and this is what she had to say about the situation. Go ahead and check this out. So Jess's ex-boyfriend, uh, Christian, says, this is messy as fuck. Then Jess replies back to him and she says, I know she better not follow my son. I know Ashton Amar is more her speed. All right, so you guys just saw what Jess Hilarious had to say. And basically, she's hinting at Black China liking to date younger guys, okay? So then after that is when Tokyo Tony dropped her little diss song. And then what happened is that Amber Rose went to Jess Hilarious' page and basically commented on the video where Jess Hilarious was disrespecting Tokyo Tony. And Amber Rose basically wrote on there, corny. We got Hollywood on lock. We got shade rooms. Never under two motherfucking million views. All you motherfuckers talk about Tokyo T, bitch. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I play with my weed, bitch. I'm in the coop. Fucking up the loop, drinking up the soup, eh, hey, sitting on the coop, chilling, bitch. I'm rocking, bitch. 
I'm moving, bitch. I'm spacing, bitch. I'm in my fucking room, chilling, doing what I do. You bitches watch me all day from room to room. You watch me in the tub. You watch me in the bed. You watch me in the shop. Bitch, you gonna watch me when I'm dead, bitch. What? Black China's father is not here for just hilarious jokes. <gasps> oh, wow. Bitch, first of all, wake up. Bitch, these zombies are getting out of hand. <laughs> So, you know, this entire situation is a hot damn mess. Looks like everybody's getting involved. Of course, Tokyo seems happy because this might be a chance for her and Black China to reconcile, but I doubt that that's going to happen. And I also got to call out Tokyo Tony on her hypocrisy. Now it's all about the money. Now it's no big deal. Now, you know, black ass bitches need to wash their face and use some bleaching cream. But just a month ago, she was going in on her daughter and saying that her daughter looks nothing like her. She doesn't know what's happened to her daughter. Her skin looks nothing like her. Her nose looks nothing like her. And and then she also wrote a post about Black China a few months ago where she accused Black China of looking like Michael Jackson. So this woman is just bad shit crazy. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I'm, look, I'm looking like this, trying to look through her face and see. Oh, I see some differences now. She used to look like me. She don't look like me no more. She don't look like me. She don't look like me. She, that kid don't look like me. She used to look like me. Exactly like me. Same nose, same everything, except she don't have dimples. You know, she made those with the piercings. She don't have no fucking dimples. You know, I done did everything for this little motherfucking girl, man. I'm not mad anymore, so I'm not going to call her a bitch, but she know me. Didn't y'all see that video? Don't go fucking with Tokyo Tony, bitch. She would drag your whole motherfucking family. All right, so you guys just saw that video, Tokyo Tony, talking about how Black China looks nothing like her. And then this is another post that she wrote a few months ago, and I'm just going to read you guys a snippet. And she says this, looking at you disgusts me. I'm blocking your ugly ass pig bitch. You used to look like me. Now you look like Michael Jackson's clone. Your skin is white as snow. How the fuck did that happen? Your nose is narrow. How did that happen? Your waist is snatched. How did that happen? How did you get on earth? How did this happen? For you to tell all these lies on me, I'm a bitter bitch. You understand me? You are a travesty. You do understand me. You are absolutely disgusting and give a bad taste in my mouth every time I think of you. Honey. I told y'all I keep some damn receipts, okay? So Tokyo Tony is full of shit. She knows what Black China is doing is not okay. She knows that she's perpetuating colorism. And again, like I always say, all money is not good money. And just because she's getting paid from it, just because she's making money from it, does not make it okay. Granted, people will bleach their skin with or without Black China's help. But it's sad that when you look at Black China right now in 2018, she looks nothing like she looked a few years ago. I mean, when I look at her now, I don't even see any resemblance to Tokyo Tony. For a while I used to think that Black China was adopted, that wasn't really her mother, but then when I went back and I looked at her old pictures before she went Hollywood, she looked just like Tokyo Tony, just a few shades lighter, okay? She's lighter than her mom, but she's not that damn light, so Tokyo needs to stop the fuck shit. She's only trying to jump on the bandwagon of her daughter and trying to have her daughter's back in hopes that maybe if her daughter sees this, she'll reconcile with her and she'll see that, you know, her mom had her back no matter what. Tokyo Tony thinks she's damn slick, but I see through the damn book. Bullshit. And I'm sure that Black China sees through the bullshit as well, hence why she still is not talking to Tokyo Tony, okay? So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Black China, her bleaching cream, her mother, Tokyo Tony, aka Teriyaki Tina, getting involved, and then Jess Hilarious also getting involved and them going back and forth. And then how do you guys feel about Amber Rose also having something to say about the situation? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.